Hello, um, today I wanted to do a little bit of a different video again, uh, a roster review, if you will. Um, it's been quite a while since I did the last one, so I figured that this would be a good time to, to just update everybody on what, what's going on in my profile real quick. Um, I am, as you can see, 22.7 million TCP today. My uh, strongest team power is quite a bit more stronger than it was last time. Um, currently rank two in arena. And as you can see, I blitz way too much. <laughs> uh, but, uh, it is what it is. All right. Uh, just to show you guys, um, how many days I've been playing. It says here I've logged in. 713, no, 733 days, whoa, 733 days, oh my goodness, yeah, so, time gets away from you, it's amazing, let's see what else I got, oh, yeah, I got nothing else done here, but yeah, 733 days, wow, all right, so uh, just to show you my roster real quick, uh, this is what I'm kind of working on currently, um, uh, working on getting Kestrel there to 95, just because, uh, you know, she's so valuable everywhere, actually, so you never regret putting any levels into Kestrel, I don't think. <clears throat> so that's what, that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to finish her out level 95. Um, then I got, I want to bring my Masters of Evil up a little bit more, so I could get a few more level or stars on Nova because I, I've realized the importance of Nova and of course I've been working on the Nowhere team as you can see and then you see these seven red characters up here part of infestation I've decided I'm going to start putting some love into them so I've, I've hearted them so that I can start slowly working on them plus Loki there is part of the new uh, Bifrost team so I'll be working on him as well uh, yeah, I've been working on Val and Teen Loki, and uh, I kind of put Quicksilver on the back burner. Um, I don't really need him in Crucible at the moment, so I don't know. He's still up there, though, because uh, I'm, I'll put levels in him when I want to, I guess. I'll get there. <laughs> Just got so many other things in front of him all the time, you know, like all these guys. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, any monstrosity, it seems like I'm always needing Brawl Brawler Green ISO for some reason, so, yeah, oh, the ISO farm never ends in this game, unfortunately. Alright, so that's, that's kind of what I'm, what's my heart's right now, what I'm working on, so. I just want to go over, it's my save squad, this, this is how I organize my roster, basically. So, uh, you know, I always put Riffraff with the... Eternals there. Uh, and here recently, my Unlimited X-Men team overtook my uh, Gamma team as my uh, strongest horseman team. I guess that's because uh, I took Gambit to level 95 recently. And uh, I also got the sixth red on Rogue there, as you can see. So yeah, that brought them up over what the Gamma squad is currently. I might have to go back and put some more love into my Gamma squad. <laughs> In fact, I should probably just go ahead and equip some gear to Red Hulk there because I know I'm going to take him to 18 eventually. But anyway, about that, I'll, I'll get into a little, that a little more here in a second too. <clears throat> um, so, you know, uh, I have a little bit of a plan for DD6 that I've come up with um, that I'll, I'll share with you guys here in a second. So, um, yeah, anyway, this is the Darkhold squad that I have. I haven't changed these teams much since uh, unlocking Apocalypse. Uh, here's what the new New Warriors are sitting at currently. Um, here's what my unused uh, Secret Avengers do. But I mean, I'm unused. I use them in Crucible all the time. But same for the Web Warriors there. They're collecting dust too. Um, here's what my uh, Rebirth team looks like. It's actually pretty high up there in the list of teams that I have that are powerful. So Oh, pretty much thanks to Cap there. Cap's level 95, 7 yellow, 7 red. I'm pretty proud of him. <laughs> Been putting some love into Cap. He's also really easy to gear, too. 
Uh, so yeah, I've been also putting love into Kang every time I ch every chance I get. I think he's the closest to T eighteen in my roster right now, Mister Kang. So, um, and then here's my Weaver with the Undying Squad, and I haven't put any love into my Infinity Watch, unfortunately. Uh, just don't have the time for it. I need to miss the gear so much for everything else that I just can't I can't afford to put it in there right now. Um, I need these little what are they pink pink crystals I, I like i need so many of them it's crazy i can't ever get enough of them i can't find them ever the game knows i don't i need them and won't give them to me <laughs> it's orange gear too which is the most annoying thing ever but anyway here's where my uh my uh skill team sits i'll go over that later and uh, i haven't changed any of these teams really they're kind of just sitting where they were last time uh, i did the roster review kind of so yeah they they get usage every once in a while here and there, but really they don't. And, and oh, here's where my nowhere team sits currently. So I've been very impressed with this nowhere team. Actually, I uh, I took a sack team into a 1.2 gamma, 1.2 million gamma team, and uh, got an exhaust, a stack of exhaust on them. And then I went in there with this really small nowhere team, thinking I'm probably gonna get crushed, but maybe I can kill Red Hulk. And I uh, actually cleared the whole team. I was surprised. So with one stack of exhaust, um, this little bitty nowhere team was able to clear a 1.2 milli gamma team. I was floored. I was like, what? <laughs> I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't do it, but I, I did it. So I, I have to believe it. Uh, I, I tried to recreate it in war practice, and I couldn't do it in war practice. So I don't know. Something about the war buffs change it, change the match. Practice mode is practically useless i think in my opinion but whatever anyway yeah these these squads here also haven't changed uh i did take uh omega red to, to t16 recently i think so that might be new uh yeah i definitely definitely took uh dormammu to t16 i took apocalypse to t16 i'm working on getting him to 17 he is so gear heavy it's stupid he eats all my mutant gear all the time uh haven't done anything with the underworld they've been sitting right there it's amazing what the underworld can punch up though in in war and one of my favorite war teams so i don't even like war but yeah and then these teams they, they're not doing anything i need to get black widow off of that team so i can put her on the infestation but i haven't put the infestation team together yet until i get big time really so i'm just waiting for big time yeah and then here's you know where all the bottom of my roster sits they don't really do much of anything down here, but collect dust. Woohoo! The dust collectors. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm trying to show you my raid squads real quick first. Uh, here's what I use to go through Incursion 1. Uh, this is my mutant squad. I, I sim Incursion 1 with this mutant squad. So, And then uh, you know, I go into the bio raid lanes next. I can't sim the bio lanes. I have to go in there manually and do them, but I don't mind doing them. They're kind of fun. I've been getting pretty good at it here recently. And as you can see, I took uh, Captain America up there pretty high so that he could uh, be a nice little tank for me. Uh, and then this is the skill team that I use to get through the skill sections. The first node of the skill section is kind of tricky, but after you make it past that, the second node's pretty easy, and then the, the third node I, I always time out on. There's no way I can get through it without having to double tap the boss node. But I usually don't have to spend any uh, healing energy to heal my characters up or anything, and I can hit auto the whole time. <clears throat> but I need to maybe get Cap, or not Cap, Nick, Cap uh, Nick Fury there up a little bit further, but... You'll see he's part of my DD6 plan, so I'm definitely going to be bringing him up higher anyway. So, And then this is the Mystic team that I use to get through the Mystic section. Um, I can beat the first two nodes fairly easily, but when I get to that boss node, uh, Kang seems to target my death pool every single time before my death pool can get her ult off. So <laughs> it's, it's been quite frustrating trying to get through the Mystic section in Incursion 1. But I'm sure the Bifrost team is going to solve all that. And there's my useless uh, tech team that does nothing. And same for the Web Warriors. And I have some other lesser raid teams for the other Gamma, Beta, Alpha stuff, you know. <clears throat> but anyway, 
All right, so yeah, I want to go back and talk to talk about this. Uh, so this is my DD6 plan. Um, this is my global team that I want to take into DD6, or this is what I'm working on taking into DD6 with me. <laughs> um, I think Weaver is going to be a pretty good uh, investment. I know Apocalypse is going to be a good investment. Um, and then Gambit, since I have the seven red, seven yellow. <laughs> I mean, I have it on both, uh, all three of them, actually. Uh, Captain America, Gambit, and uh, Widow. So that's kind of what drove my choices for picking this team right here. <clears throat> I know they'll be powerful once I hit gear 18 with them as well. And as you can see, they're all already almost at 95. Well, they are 95, except for Widow over there. So, yeah, they're well on their way to being my DD6 global team. So that's what I'm working on. And then right below that is my DD6 cosmic team. And of them, uh, Kang is the closest, of course. Uh, ran out of those pink crystals for Val. So that's the reason she's still waiting on gear to get to that next uh T14. <laughs> uh, that's so annoying. But uh, I'll get there eventually. It's just a matter of time, I guess. But yeah. And then uh, eventually I'll be working on the two Eternals. Uh, and uh, as you can see, I've put in a few few levels into Kestrel already. I'll be finishing her out very, very soon. So, And then this is kind of uh, the back burner teams. I'll be, wor be working on these teams after I get the other two teams finished, of course. <laughs> and hopefully by then... I'll have more characters that have been released that can replace these guys. So we'll see. You know, these are just the picks right now. Um, it'll probably be a while before. I, <laughs> and these probably won't be the final picks is what I'm saying. So yeah, anyway, Cloak and Dagger and uh, Chi are kind of no-brainers. And then uh, Firestar there, she's got kind of a low gear cost. And then Spider-Man's got like... 36 gear cost so i was like yeah why not he's got the seven yellow seven red uh so does cloak there so i figured this might be a decent city team but i'm really hoping there's a new character that comes out that blows these guys away you know and then here's what my uh legendary team looks like um i'll probably be chopping uh maybe black bolt as soon as possible and also shuri as soon as possible but uh you know, the other three are probably pretty solid, so that's uh that's what my legendary plan is, but that's like I said, uh after I get the other three teams done, so, so <laughs> that'll probably change as well. <clears throat> anyway, here's uh what I have for my dark promotions, I guess. So I just recently took uh Rogue to six red, and I have Morgan Le Fay and Red Hulk already at six red. Of course, on the Horseman's list, that would make Archangel next, but I don't know if I want to take Archangel to 6 red. I really don't need him at 6 red. He's already pretty good where he's at. So I'm over here looking at what I could do with my other Dark Promotion credit upgrade characters, and I'm eyeballing Doom, but I like Doom kind of where he's at already. <laughs> um, Ultron's probably okay where he's at as well, but I would really like to get another red star on Dormammu over there. So I'm thinking about making him my next uh, dark promo upgrade just to get to that fifth, that fifth red for dark for Dormammu, because I think he could actually benefit from it the most um, and help my roster the most. So <clears throat> yeah. And as you can see, Quicksilver sitting there with zero reds, and so is Zim, and they probably will sit there forever because I got other places to spend my dark promos, namely Nova as well. Kind of hoping that the next uh, iteration of Nova's um, pack or scourge or whatever you want to call it, I can get some more uh, dark red, or I can get some more red stars for a, a better effort, but. Anyway, so uh, that's why I'm kind of holding off on getting his reds right now until the until the scourge his scourge comes around again, I guess. So let's go over my my real quick over my war squads. These this is I have everything on defense basically. I throw all my horsemen teams on defense. I throw all my um, major war defense teams on defense. I have the Black Order the. Heroes for Hire, the you know the the standard war defense team. So this is what I use my my leftovers 
for offense, and I just want to show that real quick. So here's the best leftover offense teams, if you will. <clears throat> I've been having fun playing with anyway. Uh, so the first team clears a whole lot of stuff. Uh, I like to use the um, Hello team against um, Young Avengers. They punch up probably 800k. Probably they can take out pretty easily at three at 340 something. Um, I use this team right here for any Red School teams I see. They clear clears that stuff out pretty easily. Um, this is my. Secret Avengers, I play around with them. Um, then my War Dogs, I don't really do them. And then uh, Nowhere, of course. And Kang Team, I try to sometimes uh, sub out Kang and use Kang in other places because he's so good. He's kind of a wasted character on this uh, Master's Demon Team, if you ask me. And then uh, here's my other kind of leftover war teams that I, I just throw them at the wall. It uh, su always surprises me how big of a web warrior team my small Bionic Avengers can take out. I did a 600k versus a 1.2 mil the other day and succeeded. It was amazing. I want to go over my arena real quick. So, uh, this is my arena offense team. Uh, I swapped a uh, king in MLF because MLF speeds up Red Hulk, makes Red Hulk go faster. So, and then um, I like Rogue back there in the corner because when she taunts, she brings the damage over to both Red Hulk and Apocalypse, making them go faster and ulting faster. <clears throat> so all around, I just I like this placement for for offense, and then my defense. Uh, I uh, I place a uh, Doom on the corner there, and Apocalypse on the other corner, so that way when Red Hulk uses his special first, uh, the player really has to think about who they want to hit because if they hit my maybe Doom, he will ult and plat time platform, and it gets icky from there. So sometimes they have to use the basic turn one or, I don't know, go into Apocalypse with uh, Red Hulk. Sometimes that, that works too, so. But uh, just makes it a little more tricky for my opponent, so that's really not like the organization there. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm ranked two. So I'm just going to go look at these cats real fast. Um, there's Sarge. Onyx, Big O, I fight these guys every day, Sean, he felt a 13 here recently, I guess Big Boy Apocalypse isn't all that, <laughs> just kidding, I try to avoid fighting him as much as possible, and then uh, here's some of the other guys down here, Super Scroll, came out of nowhere, Warlock still hanging in there. Spire Gatorade. I'm always happy to see him. And as you can see, some of these char characters uh, have recently quit. Darth Lazy there, I guess, left the inevitable trash penguins and uh, quit quit the game. Um, which is sad. But hey, it happens. Like I said, there's turnover in this game. I wanted to issue a challenge to anybody out there if uh, they have anybody in their arena shard who has been on longer than 180 days. Not been on longer than 180 days and is still in the top 100. <laughs> in the gremlin there. Kind of impresses me. Uh, Darth Tisham still hanging in there with the inevitable trash pinions, which is good. There's Cuckoo. Hey, Cuckoo, how's it going, buddy? And then uh, a bunch of uh, Hadou. Hadou fell down there pretty hard. And then there's there's a uh, Dim. He's a uh, big salty on Twitch. It's always good to see him in the top one hundred. Yep. 
so yeah, this is the people I fight every day. It's been fun fighting these guys. All right, so I wanted to go over my uh, crucible real quick. Um, as you can see, I am in Diamond 1. Just got there last week. Pretty excited about that. Uh, I went a uh, 2 and 1, so I won 1-2 one, and lost 1. <clears throat> Show you my defense real fast. Nothing fancy. I just put the standard stuff together. You can be watching the first room. Unlimited X-Men in the second. Gamma in the third. Boring old Wakanda with a BP-1 mil in the fourth room. And then a Darkhold, standard Darkhold in the fifth room. And then standard Rebirth in the last room. Yep, not pulling any tricks, not being fancy. I just, I like to have all my tools on offense. And I don't want to make any trick plays. So, kind of vanilla like that, I guess. Um, lastly, I want to show you my guy's, uh, alliance. Uh, so this, this is the current, current alliance, how it sits. Uh, I need to update the description there. Actually, we, we, uh, we do incursion raids, uh, 30% every day now. So, yeah. Uh, these are these are my uh, captains that I have currently. Been real happy to have a uh, coach, conk conk conk. I don't know how to say that. Joined recently, and uh, her friend McLevin down here. These guys uh, have been helping me get through the incursion raids. And as you can see, I am the leader now <laughs> at the middle of the pack. It made me leader recently. I was uh, very honored to be chosen as leader. I couldn't believe it. But I've been trying to make some positive changes and keep us all moving towards the same goals. Uh, yeah, we went back and did... Uh, Difficulty 1, and we're going to be doing Difficulty 2 next, so that uh, one of our, our uh, newer members can get the first-time rewards. We do that occasionally, just to help people out, you know? And then, uh, yeah, we're six minutes left on the <laughs> incursion raid here. Show you my, uh, my damage. I'm at the top here. Stuck on the Mystic Boss node, of course. <laughs> These guys, uh, I'm proud of them. We're able to hit 30% every day, so it makes me happy. But uh, let's see, what else do I have to talk? I think that that, that about wraps it up. So uh, yeah, till next time. See you guys.